The Royal Canadian Mounted Police is responsible for border security before the, between the ports of entry. We have multiple detachments along the southern border and an integrated border enforcement team stationed in Altona, Manitoba. As you know, the border between Canada and the United States is the world's longest undefended border, a fact that shows how well our two countries work together and something of which Canadians are extremely proud. The Manitoba RCMP is responsible for approximately 520 kilometres or 323 miles of shared border. We have the people and the technology to protect that border, but people still do cross illegally. People cross into Canada illegal for a number of reasons. Whether to escape political, social or religious conflicts, they enter Canada to seek asylum and the safety and security that many migrants see offered by Canadians. This is a complex issue to be sure, but working cooperatively with our partners helps us all to respond to evolving trends that we encounter at the border. Human smuggling is one of those trends that continues to be a concern. There are organized groups that solicit migrants to cross the border illegally, making false promises and providing false hope of an easy transition into Canada. These smugglers are not in the business to care about the migrants that they move, nor are they looking to help these vulnerable people seek a better life in Canada. People in these criminal networks are only looking at their bottom line to make as much money as possible with as much or as little work as possible. Anyone using a smuggling network or individual to cross the border illegally is part of that human smuggling incident. Let me be clear, smugglers are ferrying people across the border without any consideration for their safety. The migrants are abandoned, sometimes miles away from the border, uneducated, and ill-prepared for what lies ahead in their journey. Nobody is traversing the route with these migrants and directing them to safety. Indeed, quite the opposite. They are left completely on their own, only to fend for themselves, hoping to connect with someone who may or may not be waiting for them when they cross. This brings up major safety concerns. Some individuals who are illegally crossing between the borders of Manitoba, North Dakota, and Minnesota are not aware of the extreme weather conditions and geography that they face. Some attempting to cross the border are faced with walking for long periods of time in open areas of high winds, deep snow, and frigid temperatures. This lack of understanding has led to severe injury and death, with one high profile example of this occurring with the tragic death of the Patel family in January of 2022. This tragic event remains in our consciousness and reminds us of a family trying to change their circumstances with their last moments, likely ones of fear and hopelessness, facing the harsh winter elements with no aid or end in sight. It haunts us as investigators but troubles us further as human beings. It is imperative that any would-be crossers know that it is not safe. Don't put your life and the lives of your family in the hands of these smugglers. The risks are too extreme and the results may cost you your life. Make no mistake, while we have the equipment and technology to monitor cross-border movement, the chances of rescue under these extreme weather conditions is remote. Year to date, we have had 85 northbound crossers, and to be frank, those are the ones we located. There are likely many more. Illegal crossings are still happening. It may not be getting the attention as it had previously, with a high of 1,018 northbound incursions in 2017, but the issue and risk very much still remains. The RCMP's ultimate goal is the safety, security, and well-being of everyone in Canada. We work tirelessly with our partners on border security as part of our commitment toward that goal. Today, I stand united with Chief Garrett on his important safety issue and plead with anyone listening, thinking about attempting to cross into Canada between the ports of entry to make the safe decision. The choice is yours. Please choose to enter Canada the safe and legal way through a port of entry. Please choose to avoid the hazards and risks of entering Canada through the challenging and dangerous environment that Manitoba and North Dakota are guaranteed to provide. Please choose not to support illegal human smugglers whose only primary goal is to take your money without any consideration for your safety or security. There are ways to enter either country that do not involve risking your life. I implore you, please make the right choice. Thank you.